guys, this is April. I'm coming to you with a quick uh, fountain pen hack that I've discovered. Um, I was just playing around and this is one of my favorite fountain pens. It's the Platinum Carbon Ink Desk Pen. Um, it comes with a cartridge and a very long handle. You can see that it's extremely long and has a plastic handle with a hole in it. Um, but the nib itself is extra fine and is just great for um, both journaling in a Hobo Nietzsche or journaling in a traveler's notebook or drawing even um, because the carbon ink is uh, waterproof. So it it's my favorite pen. It's uh, about $10 on Amazon, sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. Um, comes with a cartridge that I tend to just refill with platinum carbon ink that is waterproof. Um, it doesn't smear. Um, the thing I don't like about it is this long plastic handle. Um, it makes it too long for a notebook. It um, feels cheap. It doesn't, it's very hollow plastic, so it doesn't have any weight to it. Um, I have seen videos where different people have, um, I think, um, cut it off so that you can post the pen. Posting is when you put the, the lid on the bottom of the pen, and as it is now, it's not postable. Um, so it's just sort of inconvenient uh, for my purposes. I think it would be a great desk pen, but um, for my purposes, it's inconvenient. I was looking through my collection of uh, inexpensive fountain pens and thought that perhaps I could um, take this part and screw it into another pen. It turns out that I can. I had this Bauer Chinese pen. It's, um, I believe it's model number 3035. Um, you can get it on Amazon or on eBay. It comes with a medium nib, which is a little thicker than what I like. But if you unscrew the nib and put the platinum nib in, it works perfectly. It has a nice weight to it, it's all metal. Uh, and best of all, the cap will post. It's not gonna fall off. So just wanted to share, it's one of my favorite hacks that I've discovered. Um, it may be somebody else has discovered this too, but, um, but I just was playing around. I do know that I had shared this with somebody who was periscoping and she tried it with a hero pen and it worked with that. So some of your Chinese pens may work. I'll have um, the model number and information in, um, in the show notes. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.